So here's approximately five minutes worth of manually controlling the temperature to 100 degrees plus or minus one degree. The controlling power supply is here. If I want the fan speed more, I raise the voltage. If I want the fan speed less, I decrease the voltage. The main difference between this configuration and the previous is that the fan driver circuit has been activated. It's being driven by power supply and the voltmeter used to measure the thermistor output circuit uh, has been replaced with lab view, which now receives that voltage. We start lab view. All programs. Lab view 2012. The latest version. Blank VI. We get a front panel and a block diagram, which we will tile up and down. And then we start developing the program. However, it deviates from the normal way of developing a computer program. Usually, you develop your computer program on paper first and then transfer it to the coding mechanism on the computer. LabVIEW is different. Because it's such a graphical language, uh, we sit at the computer with an idea in mind, and then we develop the program on the computer without writing anything down, typically. However, this assumes that you already are fluent in LabVIEW. You already know how to navigate the hundreds of menus and options in order to accomplish the task. So the best I can do is show you the completed program and then show you how to create each icon that makes the program. First, the virtual meter. Modern, numeric, meter, and drop it. Change the name of it if we like. Add a digital display, but first notice as I slowly move the cursor it first is an arrow, changes to a finger, changes back to an arrow, changes back to a finger. Uh, each one does something differently. What I want to do now, finger or arrow, is to right click and select visible items, digital display. Add a thermometer with a digital display. Right click, modern, numeric, thermometer, drop it, click it until I see the resizing handle, then I can resize it. Right click, visible items, digital display. 
add a chart, right click, graph, waveform chart, drop it, maybe stretch it, change the time window to 300 seconds. Add a DAC assistant on the block diagram. First notice that there are three icons already on the block diagram that correspond to the three icons that I added on the front panel. Right-click the block diagram, Express, DAC Assistant, click it, drop it. Acquire Signal, Analog Input, Voltage, Analog Input Channel 0, Finish. Maximum 10 volts, Minimum 0 volts. RSE stands for Reference Single Ended. Acquisition Mode, One Sample On Demand. OK. Add a 1000 millisecond weight command. Right click down arrow, programming, the clock, timing, wait until the next millisecond multiple, drop it, right click, create, constant, 1000. This will cause the program to pause for a second before running again. Add a formula node, right click, down arrow, programming, structures, formula node. Left click, drag and release. Left click, type the formula, something like y equals minus point two four four. 5, multiply x, multiply x, plus 8.85, plus 63.8, semicolon. That's the formula. Right click the left edge, add input, we'll call it x, to match the formula. Right-click the right edge, add output, name it Y to match the formula. Connect all of the icons on the block diagram, most of them. Left-click, release, left-click, release, left-click, release, left-click, release. They're all wired, I think. I'll wiggle it just to make sure. Yep, it's wired. Click, 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 click. It's all wired, except there's a problem. Right click the red X, it says we've connected two terminals of different types. To fix it, right click the red X, insert, Signal Manipulation Palette from dy Dynamic Data. Select Single Scalar. OK. It's done. Include a while loop. Right click. Execution control, while loop, left click, drag in around everything, 
release done. Now run the VI and check it out. To run the VI we click here and the temperature should match the thermometer and it doesn't. To stop the VI we click that button. The error is obvious in the formula node. I'll let you fix it.